Whoa. Hello, good evening. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher, good evening. How's it going? Oh, was, this was better. Today was better? Yeah. Awesome. I'm glad to hear that. Why? Why is was it better? Uh, uh, because uh, today uh, I received a new employees because open uh, the new plan. Um, I don't know, remember what is the some free okay when you go uh aeroport Iro yeah Iro yeah i don't know remember what is the name this this some free but it's free son free some yeah but uh in my in my plan um we we uh try training a new employees there are there are many employees <laughs> yeah we we are going to open a new plan awesome yeah it's is a it is a uh a, a new opportunity for for the the people and for you to grow yeah I guess, yeah. That's awesome. Very good. Okay. You may start the class, guys. You may start speaking. Remember, that's your main goal. So let's start talking. Let me change the background. Hopefully this shirt doesn't interfere. Yeah. Okay. I can use the background. Okay. Let's start the class. Say hello to your classmates. Hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> Who can tell me what was the topic for yesterday? Excellent topic. has been. So Elvin said that a new plant has been opened on the road to the airport. A new plant has been opened on the free zone going to the airport. Okay. How do you call that? That's the, the present perfect passive voice. Yes, teacher. Okay, awesome. Huh. Uh -huh. Passport. Nobody wants to talk. Do it you. <laughs> really? Are you kidding me? Come on, guys. Okay, let's have a conversation. But before, let me do the attendance and we will go with all the powers, okay? Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Sorry, I heard Alan somewhere. Where's Alan? No, in here. Okay. Good. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. 
you and I, we have a date tonight. Ooh, 10 minutes after the class, okay. <laughs> Please stay for 10 minutes, Carol. Okay. Good. Claudia Maricela Solano Crespin. Oh, she never came back. Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martinez. Present. Thank you. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Excellent. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. The Soup. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chavez. Present, teacher. Excellent. Johnny, I mean, Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernandez. Present. Juan Marcos Guzman. Man, Juan never came back. Okay. Carla Yanet Amaya Herrera. Present, teacher. Thank you. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdez. Present. Good. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present, teacher. Good. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Excellent. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Good. And Rina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Not here yet. Okay, let's start. We're going to have a conversation using something new. Um, sure. This thing here. Let's see if you can do it. People in intermediate two. Let's see. Okay. What are the things that you can stand? For example, I can stand the heat. Uh huh. It's like bear. No. Uh huh. It's like bear to bear with no. something. But this is more used, it's more natural. The, I can stand the heat in El Puerto. Okay, in El Puerto. Okay, I can stand the heat in El Puerto. Um, I can stand. I can stand uh, people. Eating, oh my God, people chewing, mouth open. Like a goat. <laughs> yes, like a goat. <laughs> okay. I can stand. Traffic jam. Drinking, I want to use ING. I can stand drinking too much. Okay. What are the things that you cannot stand? Can't stand. I can't stand the heat in El Puerto. I can't stand chewing mouth open. Oh, I didn't I didn't say people here. I can stand people chewing mouth open. Okay, I can stand drinking too much. What are the things that you can't stand, guys? Two examples. Two examples. I can't stand the traffic in the morning. Yeah, it's terrible. Traffic jam. Traffic in the morning, yeah. I can stand the traffic in the morning. Now let's, you can add something else to this, but I'm getting used to it. Remember? Okay. What about, but, I must get used to it. If you say I have never, I uh, no, I'm never getting used. To it. I'm no. I'm never gonna get. I'm I'm never gonna get used to it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm never gonna get used to it. Or I'll never get used to it. I'll never get used to it. I'm gonna, I'm never gonna get used to it. I'm never gonna get used to it. Okay, you got it. So talk with your classmates, but give an explanation. For example, I can stand the heat in El Puerto. I lived there for five years. 
was horrible, was terrible. I can still, I can stand people chewing mouth open. I think that's very gross. I mean, it's gross. I can stand drinking too much. Uh, the most I drink is three beers. I don't like beers. Okay. Okay. I can stand drinking too much because I become Frank Sinatra and you cannot deal with it. So let's do it together. Give your explanation why you can't stand something. Can you do it? Yes. 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 Of course you can. You're an intermediate too. I know you can speak a lot already. So let's do it together. You only have 15 minutes to talk about everything with your classmates. Let's participate. Let's go. Come on, come on. Okay, tenga cuidado, por favor. <laughs> sí, sí. Okay. Avita, welcome. Show me what you got. <laughs> Unbelievable. Come on, guys. Well, in my case, I can stand with, um, I, I don't know. Actually, I'm, I am used to, to deal with different kinds of situations. Uh, for that reason, I can, I can stand, I don't know. <laughs> I can stand almost everything. I understand. I'm a very patient guy. I'm a very patient guy. Right? I know. I don't get complicated. I'm a very patient guy, so. I can stand very problems I, and lies. <laughs> I can stand by when the. I can stand by. In... Uh huh. I can stand people smoking um, by my side, by my ne side. Next to me. Next to me. Right. Near to me. Really? Why? Uh, because I know that the, if you are not smoking, uh, this, this smoke is bad for your health. It's worst. It's for worst. You yeah. smoke. Because I know that secondhand smoking is worse than being a smoker. I know that secondhand yeah. smoking. Okay, guys, keep going. I can stand uh, the people links because um, they create the uh, problems for me. <laughs> people lying? People lying, mentiroso. Uh -huh. I can stand liars. <laughs> I can't stand, I can stand liars. Liars, because they create, they create problems. 
on me. Yes. Okay. Keep it up. Come on, guys. Practice. Look at the examples. And staying, staying up late. I can study. Uh, long time in the traffic. It's okay. I can. I can study waiting a uh, long time in the restaurant. Uh, yeah. Stand. I can stand. I can stand. stand waiting long time in the restaurant. I can stand waiting long time in the restaurant. Good. Yeah. Why? Uh, for, uh, let me see. Um, because I don't have patience or I'm very impatient. Yeah. I'm very, <laughs> yeah. I'm very impatient. In my case, in the, uh, I waiting. Uh, I I can stand waiting for the per, another person or for the people. I don't like this. Waiting for someone else. Yeah, uh, yeah. Waiting uh, for another. For example, in my case, uh, my in my wife. Uh, I don't I don't like waiting for her. <laughs> Always. Good, you I, did it. Yeah, I yeah. like waiting for her. Excellent. Yeah, always I have a problem with her. <laughs> I always have problems with her. Yeah. Because of that. I hope that, that, that she doesn't understand English. If not, we are going to be in trouble. You're going to sleep on the hammock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, for me, for me, that's it. Come on, guys. Okay. It's missing Ooh. Fernando and Alan. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in my case, I can stand the heat when I try to sleep all, all nights. Uh, my wife does the coffee in the afternoon. I can stand what? I can stand drinking uh, the coffee. You can drinking. stand drinking coffee? I had drinking coffee. What? Really? Mm, yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. yes. By the way, uh huh. Why you don't like coffee? Uh, no, no like no. No, I don't like. I don't. I like don't it. like. No, I don't like it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Teacher, how do you say berrinches? Tantrum. Tantrum. Mm. Tantrum, just the way it sounds. Tantrum. 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 Tan, tan, tantrum. Tantrum. Okay. I can stand my baby's my baby's tantrum. <laughs> tantrum. I hope she doesn't understand English. No, she doesn't. <laughs> She's gonna go like, what do you mean? <laughs> She's Korean. Oh, really? Yeah. Korean. Yes, fifty percent. Oh my god, that's awesome. Is she Not learning? Really. Nah. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, she she speaks uh, Korean. Korean. Because of, because of her dad. Oh. Interesting. Oh. <laughs> interesting. Interesting fact. No. <laughs> but she speaks more Spanish. She speaks more Spanish. Yeah, she speaks more Spanish. How old is she? 
is almost five. You should continue talking to her in English. Mm, yes. No. I will do it. That's why I'm learning. Yeah, it's never too late. So, so mm -hmm. Korean, Spanish, and English. Yeah. That's awesome. Okay, what things you cannot stand? What else you can stand? Can you stand the heat at night? No, not teacher. I can stand the traffic jam in the morning. Mm, what else can I do? I am a very tolerant person. But I Okay, give, give me just one minute. We're almost done with this exercise. Come on. What else, girl? What else, Kate? You can stand. Can stand, work, work, <laughs> and uh, holidays. <laughs> I can stand working on holidays. Uh, yeah. Working on holidays. <laughs> that I sucks. Can. That. Nobody likes working on holidays. Mm -hmm. um, no. uh, I can stand for the amount of people. In the <laughs> it's easy for me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Teacher, is it correct? Or I can stand my noisy people. Sorry, I didn't hear you. I can stand what? Noisy, uh, ruidoso. Noisy people. Yeah. And liar people, teacher. I can stand liar people. Exactly. Or solo liar people. Uh, stand liar people. Um, I can still work over time. I can stand working over time. Working over time. Why working? Because no. uh -huh, you didn't notice that after I can stand. You need to use a noun. Because it's ten. Okay. E uh, if I say I can stand not eating in the morning, good. Is correct. Correct. I can. Uh, I can uh, stand not eating. Uh huh. In the, uh, in the morning. Okay. William, <laughs> um, I can stand not drinking coffee in the afternoon. In the afternoon, but if I don't, I get in a bad mood. Perfect. Mm. Okay, so if you understood what we were doing was adding a noun after I can stand. Right, so if you say I can't stand, after I can stand, you need a noun. And this noun can be ing as well, ing nouns. Okay, do you remember that topic, the ing nouns or using gerunds, using gerunds as subjects? Okay, do you remember that? 
drinking alcohol is bad for you. Okay, and there you have a noun, I mean a gerund as a subject. Do you remember that topic from basic three? Wait, basic four, basic four. No? So here you're yeah. using you're using it as a noun as well. I can stand drinking alcohol. It's bad for you. Okay. I can I can stand smoking. I can stand um, strong smells. I can stand strong smells. I start sneezing at you every time. Okay. Questions? No? No? Okay. Okay, guys, let's start then with your book. We are now on page, <clears throat> on page 37 as per the plan, but I think they were referring to the other one, but this is just a review. We're gonna do it the day after tomorrow. So page 38, we'll, well, you will be able to discuss the effects of risks and hazards on the business operation. The effects of risks and hazards on the business operation. Overall, what do you understand? What effects could, could there be on your business um, with risks and hazards? What will be the effects? Bad reputation. Good, but, but why? Why bad reputation? Because uh, the, the company uh, is not only the product that they sell. The company have a reputation with how uh, how works. So if in the company uh, have, has, problem, has problems about uh, hazard and risks, the people uh, when 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 they find out when they find out they they don't don't want uh, to buy these products or something related about that company. I... People yeah, may lose credibility. 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 Mm -hmm. <laughs> People may not want to. People may not want to buy the products of the company. They may lose. They may lose credibility. Yep. What else? But credibility in what terms? In which sense? In which sense? Loyalty. Loyalty from the customers. Yeah. As an employee, as a, as a, uh -huh. go ahead, Alexander. Yeah, as an employee and as a customer because they don't feel safe in the place. Right. There will be too much, too much, too many rumors, right? Yeah. Rumors about the company safety. So, Nobody may want to work. Nobody may want to work at the company. So will the lack of safety measures put the operations of a business in danger? What happened recently? Did you hear the news or did you read the Twitter? This recently happened around Galerias. Yeah, and the, and the construction. Yes. Uh, GP. For, for workers for construction workers on uh -huh. a far uh, plant in the construction and they don't let to the to the firemen get in the the instalaciones como se dice they actually really? were swimming they didn't Wait, they didn't let the firemen, uh, the firefighters, I'm sorry, they didn't let the firefighters into the facilities, into the I, offices? 
I read. Ah, uh, yeah. I read. Yeah. Really? That's that's crazy. So construction workers fell from high ground. Construction workers fell from high ground. Why do you think that happened? Why did that happen? As far as I know, uh, the equipment failed. Okay, the harness maybe? Yeah. Their harness, um, yeah, may have failed. I didn't understand the images because I saw a video. I saw a video of the worker, uh, one of the workers or two workers actually were hanging. They were hanging from the rope, from the metallic rope that they, they usually wear, you know, the harness they wear, they were hanging well, on the wall. Fue el andamio en realidad, teacher, el que falló. Beautiful Spanish. How do you say andamio in English? I don't know how to say that. Fernando, Google it, please. <laughs> andamio. Yeah, andamio. Mr. What is andamio? Mr. Is, is, that, is that the right it's word? A, a scal a scalpel. Can you type it on the chat? That will be okay. awesome. Hey, that's a new word for me, or I don't remember it. Really? So the andamio <laughs> fell? Yeah, it failed. It failed. Wow. Scaffold or scaffold? Scaffold. 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 Google said scaffold. Scaffold. Thank you. Thank you, Fernando. One applause for Fernando. Awesome. Thank you. Hey, that's crazy. Oh my God. You know, this recently happened. I don't know what's the name for this. Uh, the winche. You know how they, they have some sort of hook to lift heavy weight. They have uh, some, yeah. a hook to lift heavy weight. So my yeah. brother, my brother works as a supervisor of a huge company in Tampa, in Florida. Um, and he, he used to be a welder and later he became um, a supervisor. It's crazy, you have no idea. Sometimes on Facebook, he put some posts looking for quadrillas, <laughs> looking for people to go and work. For example, he's in Florida. He needs 10 welders, 10 pipe feeders. That's the way he calls it. Immigrant. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. Sometimes it happens, of course, with documents, right? But he needs some pipe feeders. I got it, Ada. It's okay. Espero que todo le salga bien. Okay, he needs sometimes some pipe feeders. What do you what do you understand by that pipe feeders? No idea. What is it? The pipe pipes are like tubes, meta metallic tubes, but they need to weld, you know, weld those pipes, la plomería, and feet, feeders. So it means that you are a professional feeding pipes. Oh, okay. Putting pipes together, but you weld them, you weld them. Do you know how much these people make? They give them $100 per dime. You know what is per dime? Um. I can't remember if that's together or separate. Per dime is viaticos. So just $100 per day, per dime. That's crazy, just, just for viaticos. But then the salary, the salary is even better. Just for being a pipe feeder. Of course, you have to work 12 hours every day for... I don't know, 30, 30 days in a row, 30 days in a row, nonstop, every day, 12 hours working. Man, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy, but there's a lot of money there. And guess what? He never finds people. It's very difficult for him to find people. So <clears throat> once this happened, the winche, I don't know what's the right word in Spanish for that. In English, I can't remember how to say it. It's a hook 
a hook to lift heavy weight. So it fell, it fell, you know, two workers were going on that lift. They were being lifted in the middle of the building and that thing fell and it came down. And my brother was recording and everything was like, Phew. man. Oh my God. There was, there, there was dust all around. My brother was coughing, you know, like <laughs> what happened, right? And he started yelling, Ricky, Ricky, call 911, call 911. That was crazy. All because they didn't tie it. They didn't tie the, her the harness properly just for one little mistake. So what happened later, I guess, I guess later um, the company received a fine. The company received a fine and the, the workers sued the company. They went to a legal battle. Well, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, based on your information under this situation, they actually is negligence. Negligence, very good, negligence. negligence. Yeah, I was typing to other directly, I'm sorry. Yeah, there you go. Give me one second. I was sending you some on the chat, but I got lost. Give me one minute. Uh, pipe feeders, welders, per dime. Then you have fine, sue, legal bottle. And all of these guys is covered in the United States by something called the workers' compensation. Workers' compensation is a program like El Seguro Social here in El Salvador. But they work with insurance companies, private insurance companies. So if something happened to you, don't worry. You have the the insurance, which covers labor accidents, is different. And you get paid a lot of money, for sure. So in that sense, how can, re can, can the operations of a business be in danger? That's one of the examples. Why does that mean danger for the operations of a business? If, uh, if coworkers have accidents, in the in the job very often. Think about a construction company. Jose, Miguel. Mm. Me. It will be terrible. Yeah, right. Why? You are exposed to too many risks. Uh, like uh, a walls structures and if, if we, different kind of tools huge tools huge tools okay huge tool. okay now what could be some effects of um the company not managing listen the company not managing a proper safety plan People could die. People could die, of course. That's the first one. But in terms of a company, think as a company, what else uh, could happen? Lose money through sue. Due fine. to due to uh -huh, due to sues, fines. Yeah, fines are huge. Not just in the United States, but here as well. Fines are huge. Okay. So let's talk about this. I just, I'm just giving you examples. You have to give your own response. And no les gusta hablar aquí en la mera clase. So let's go in small groups and have a conversation, guys. Come on. I have some time. Tengo ratos de no verle el rostro a Reina porque parece que está trabajando, supongo. No puedo encender su cámara. Carol, Miriam. Stella, try to turn on your camera whenever possible, okay? Okay, let's have a conversation with these questions. Let's go.
safety measure. Put the operation of a business in danger. Oh, the lack of safety measure. Put the operations. Uh, I, I, I think it's very important when when the company doesn't take care of uh, or employees, it lost its position in your in your in your customer because uh, the product uh, it is uh, very good but uh, no no don't feel the let me see, don't feel the, the effect of, for your employees. Don't care, the, don't care. For they, the they don't care, they don't care about the employees. Yeah, I think it's very, actually uh, the, all the people use the, uh, the uh, social media, uh, the, the, the company is is um is a, it is a, it is a, no let me see <laughs> uh, the company had problem because um uh, the branch no branch no um what is Branch, no, it's a uh, branch marca. is sucursal. Yeah, no, marca. The brand. Marca is brand. The brand. 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 Yeah, brand. Brand. Uh, the, the brand uh, noise uh, is position. not. It's not position in the customer when the company don't take Care. Don't take care. Doesn't take care, and your employees of the of of its employees of its of employees it, of its employees. Sorry, this is my opinion. Good. Okay. Well, some company does because it happens something they must pay to families employee employees family. Sorry. Some of the employees are family? No, sorry. Maybe I didn't I didn't provide the right in the right answer. Some companies um, they um, yes, some company uh, take care of the of the employees because if something happens, they must uh, respond. They must become accountable. They must become responsible that's the way you say it uh they must become let me write it for you they must become accountable i use this word at work a lot or responsible responsible for the incidents right they must become accountable or responsible yep okay keep going Okay, I my case, I think uh, the safety measure uh, is really necessary for business because uh, all employees need uh, to be uh, yeah, to be or to be feel. Uh, ensure in the company uh, uh, the employees are the main mm, uh, the main source ah uh, yeah source in the company so it's necessary careful it's necessary to take care of them uh, to take care of Care of them? Care of them. as necessary cuidar uh, okay. de ellos, right? Uh -huh. Right. Uh, it's right, necessary. Right. It's necessary. Okay. To, to, to take care 
them. them. Yeah. Of, of them. Of them. Necessary. Yo siempre me equivoco en el letreo de esa palabra. Necessary. It's double S. Necessary. To take care of them. Okay. Keep mm -hmm. it up. Good job. When ya, when... And... And the, and the family of the worker say a demand against the company. Against. Of course. Against the company and start a problem. And then the, the case, the company close operation. The company closes its operations, okay. It must, uh, in, in, I think that it's most important the people that could be injured or dead because if you don't have a, a good safety plan, uh, it's obviously going to happen. The, the people uh, could be, uh, in, how can I say it, uh, in danger. Is it's better than you, for example, and, and my company says that it's better do it. If you don't do, you don't, don't know how can you do it, ask first or don't do it. And so uh, they always uh, trying to be on uh, in the high level of the security measures because it, when you are uh, in the truck driver's uh, environment, when you say, hey, you're working in uh, that company, where, hey, that is so hard in the, in the rules that uh, they are so, uh, I, I, I don't like them because they, they use cameras, they use uh, uh, locks uh, for uh, monitoring the truck driver. I don't like that because it's not, I, I feel uncomfortable. But it's necessary because it's uncomfortable. 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 It's hard to say that. Uncomfortable. Uh huh. <laughs> Another way to say that word. Uncomfortable. 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 Well, uh, the reputation of the company is going to be down. It doesn't have a good safety. And if you don't save or take care of your workers, that in El Salvador is late that the, those, uh, how can I say, gremial or those people that in the truck driver's environment, it's kind of lazy. Some of the kids, they don't want to be controlled. They like to do whatever they want. You have an idea. Uh, yeah, sindicato, labor unions. But it sounds Syndicate. like a- Training unions, labor unions. Uh, what what else do you say, Kamasi, he said? Um, Organizations, organizations, gremial. Organization. Yeah, a union. Trade union. Union. Yeah, but it's in the United States, at least with truck drivers, you see a lot of a lot of uh, sindicatos. And they are not bad. I mean, um, acá en el país les dan una mala reputación, pero en Estados Unidos hay trade unions, sindicatos, que han estado por años, o sea, desde antes de que Las Vegas fuera Las Vegas. Yeah, but in the suburb, you know that when you are in a, a group of people, they mm. want to get more advantage of wherever they can. It's not like, a, hey, I'm going to be honest, I'm going to be a, a good worker, uh, I would, uh, I'm going to be better and i'm going to help my 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 partner no they want to get all for for everyone to uh, they want more benefit yeah then obligation yeah actually it's true you know some some syndicatos um if you hire me for example 
and I belong to this um, trade union, and you cannot fire me after three, six months, I think. If you fire me, you have to pay me for one year or two years working in your company. <laughs> yeah, really. Wow. <laughs> In your own words, teacher, uh, those uh, groups promote uh, the safety in the in the companies. Um, sindicatos. Yeah. When they are done properly, yes. If we are talking in the Salvador. No. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, most part of the times they don't do it. Yeah. Okay. Well, most part of the times they just are there, you know, to get something in exchange. Oh yeah, that's that's the point. Nothing is free. They always want something better than they gave to the to the boss. It's happened. But we were talking about safety measures. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to be a member. <laughs> we will join. We can, I'm going to join. <laughs> yeah, we can do one. That's crazy. Okay. I think you're ready, right? Let's go back. Let's see. Wow. Okay, let's continue. I think we're all back. No. Rina is around. Ada, Ada, I think Ada just left. Okay, so let's continue. Um, on page 38, there's a conversation. It looks long, but it's not that long. So let me read it first for you and then you practice. <clears throat> I'm glad we're over with the risk assessment process and the safety measures manual. Manual. Okay. I couldn't agree. I couldn't agree more. Give me one second. Recently, I watched, I watched some news about one of our competitors. Again, recently, I watched some news about one of our competitors. They were sued because of an employee died when manipulating heavy machinery. Uh-oh, please delete that E and add a Y, heavy machinery. Oh my, that's such bad news and very bad publicity for the company. Yeah, let alone bad publicity. Let alone, let alone bad publicity. A chain of negative effect might be on their way. Loss of customers, 
loss of trust in the organization, and eventually financial loss. Totally. I'm so relieved. I'm so relieved. We're done with the safety measures manual. Now, we, we want to plan its implementation to reduce accidents as much as possible. Holy mother, any new word? What is, what is the meaning of sweet? Yes. Suit. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, uh -huh. that, that's the What's past. The when you go to a legal bottle, a legal bottle. Mm, okay. So is the base verb. Sued is the past and the, part, the past participle too. Uh, yeah. When you start a legal battle against a company or someone else, you go to court and a judge and a jury work for you. With hmm? attorney. Oh yeah, and you have an attorney. Attorney, yeah. Wait, attorney. Attorney. Yeah, nay. <laughs> Thank you. An attorney, you have an attorney. If you cannot pay for one, the state must pay for it for you. Crazy. Sue it. Okay, any other? Machinery. Manual, manual. I don't remember the meaning of our relieve. What's the meaning of? I don't remember what's the meaning of relieved. I'm so relieved. relieved. Oh, I'm so relieved. relieved. Is, uh, um, aliviado. Yeah, it's like when you receive bad news, but and you relax. But turns out that everything is okay. It turns out that mm -hmm. everything is okay. So you are relieved. Yes, you are relaxed. Okay. Turn out to be good. Uh -huh. It turns out to be um, a lie. You know, something didn't happen actually. Okay. Being, being relieved is going from stressful, you know, from being stressed to be relaxed. That's it. It's a relief. Okay. I'm so relieved. For example, uh, the volcano in La Palma, Spain, made eruption. And there were a lot of people living in that area, but they were evacuated. So that was a relief. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank For you. Example. Okay. Safety measures manual. We want to plan its implementation to reduce accidents as much as possible. Any other? No, such, I don't like this. That's such bad news. Be careful. Sometimes you say, that's such a bad news. That's mm -hmm. such bad news. Sounds weird, right? A little on bad. Oh, and I don't get this one. Yeah. Let alone bad publicity. What do you think that's that's is they're saying with that? Yeah, I don't know that publicity. Yeah, no, no. Mm, hmm. But it will be yeah. something back to the like, company. That will bring something back to the company. Yes. There will mm, there will be consequences. Yes. Yes, it's true. True, true, true. Okay. Two volunteers. I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't me. want to. Okay. <laughs> mi Fernando. Mi Fernando y mi Alexander. Okay, one, two, three, action. Start, Alexander. Okay. I'm glad we're over with the risk assessment process in the safety measures manual. I couldn't agree more. Recently, I watched some news about one of our competitors. They wear suits because of an employee died when manipulating heavy machinery. 
Oh my, that's just bad news. And very bad publicity for the company. Yeah, that's a lot of bad publicity. A chain of negative effects might be on the on their way. Loss of customer, loss of trust in the organization, and eventually financial loss. Totally. I'm so relieved we're done with the safety measure manual. Now we want to plan its implementation to reduce accidents as much as possible. Better good job. Hey, measures. 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 Soothe. Soothe. Here the E is muted. La es muda. Soothe. Soothe. Mm -hmm. Soothe. That's such bad news. That's such bad news. Hey, let alone bad publicity. No, ni mention. No, uh, sería como. Let alone. Uh, no, let alone. Let alone. No, no, I got it. I got it. Wait. <laughs> yeah. Como cuando decís, no, hombre, eso es lo de menos. That's mm -hmm. the fine. No, hombre, eso es lo de menos. A chain of negative effect might be underway. Uh, uh, it's an expression. Long. Yeah, like, never mind. Mm. Uh -huh. Como que no la, la publicidad, uh -huh. todo lo demás, no, no, o sea, más... tú, tú y yo estamos hablando y yo te digo, no, hombre, ¿qué es? Eso, no es, no, eso no. no es nada. Eso es no es nada. Menos. <risas> es lo de menos, Chele. No más la publicidad. Esperate lo que viene. Ajá, uh -huh. that's right. Let alone. Yeah. Excelente. Ok. Hey, financial. 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 And, hey, Final sounds, measures, manual. Measures, manual. manual. There you go. You got it. Okay, let's practice. But before, let me do the attendance one more time. It's 9.03. Two more days, guys. It's Wednesday and Thursday, and you're off. You won't see my ugly face after that. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza is on a rush with an emergency. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Alan Christopher Abrego Rizuela. Present. Thank you. Carolina Yvette Romero Avelino. I'm here. Claudia Maricela Solano Crispin. Edwin Arcides Eguizabal Martinez. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chavez. Present. Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Present. Thank you. Juan Marcos Guzmán, Carla Yanet, Amaya Herrera. Present. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdés. Oh. Present. Good. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana, Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. William Alexander Present. Ramírez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. And Rina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Rina. Yep, she's there. Okay, so let me split you. Please make sure you repeat, repeat, repeat as much as you can this conversation and we will cover it back again. Okay, so let's do it. I'm gonna make smaller groups. Okay, let's go. <laughs> okay. okay, someone can share the conversation. Oh. I can use that thing, but I try to. Mm, yeah, I see. Mm. Which page? I can't remember, wait, page 38. Mm. 
you know, but it's all, it's on your WhatsApp too. Okay. Uh, okay. Yes, I already received. Okay, thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, just let me one moment, please. Okay, no. Did you see, guys? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, I I'm will be glad. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Who wants to be Miguel? Who is going to be Miguel? Sorry. I'm glad we're over with the risk assessment process and safety measures manual. I couldn't agree more. Recently, I was shown news about one of our competitors. They were too because one employee died and he didn't even machine. Machinery, how do you pronounce the word, sorry, teacher? Machinery. 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 Oh my, that's such bad news and very bad publicity for the company. Yeah, let alone bad publicity and Shano's negative effect may be one or their way. Lots of consumer, lots of profit in the organization, yeah. and eventually financial loss. Totally. I'm so relieved we're done with the safety measure manual. Now, we want to plan its implementation to reduce accident as much as possible. Okay. Now, Rene and Carlita. Okay. okay. I'm glad we're over with the risk assessment process and the safety measures manual. Manual. I call every more recently. I watched some news about one of our competitors. They were so because of an employee dealing manipulating heavy machinery. Oh my, that's such bad news and very bad publicity for the company. Yeah, let alone bad publicity. A change of negative effect might be on their way. Love a cost customer, love a trust in the organization, and eventually financial loss. Totally. I'm so relieved we're, we're done with the safety measure manual. Now we want to plan its implementation to reduce accidents as much as, as, much as possible. As much as possible. As much as possible. Okay. okay, now I will be Gladys and Alan will be Miguel. I am glad we are over with the risk assessment process and safety measure manual. Machinery. Ooh, hey, yeah. Machinery. Hey. Right. You speak of the, the devil. Machinery <laughs> pesada, pero es con... No, me lo, Talking me lo about the devil. Yeah. What is the oh, Google, 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 Google corrects yeah. me the, the, the word. Yeah. Teacher. Uh, we are talking about this word. Uh, if machinery is not heavy, but the word the word is run um, written. It's misspelled. Yes, I told you. Misspelled. Yeah, heavy machinery. Okay. Instead, of, instead of the e is an is a y. When manipulating heavy machinery. Yep. But in okay. this case, correct these words. Heavy or heavy. 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 Or heavy, heavy. But this correct the. It's a, the it's, you mean that the word doubt. you're trying okay. to say that the word heavy exists? Tiron. If. Oh, okay, but yeah. Yeah, it doesn't exist. Heavy machinery is. Heavy machinery, H E A V Y. Yeah. 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 By it's itself, y instead of E. You're right. Yeah, I never used that word before. Have, 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 have. Okay. Heave. 
so heavy, hmm. right? Yeah. Okay. Well, continue. <laughs> okay. Uh, you are Gladys. <laughs> ah, yes. Oh, my, oh, my. That's such bad news and very bad publicity for the company. Yeah, let alone bad publicity, a chain of negative effects might be on their way. Negative. Plus, their, their way. <laughs> Keep going. Loss of customers, loss of trust in the organization, and eventually financial loss. Totally. I'm so relieved we're, we're done with the safety me measures manual. Now we want to plan its implementation to reduce accident as much as possible. Okay. okay. My turn again. Uh, you are I, Miguel and Alexander is glad. I'm Miguel, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we're over with the risk assessment process in the safety measures manual. I couldn't agree more. Recently, I watched some news about one of our competitors. They were sued because of an employee died when manipulating heavy machinery. Oh my, that's just bad news and very bad publicity for the, comp for the company. <laughs> Yeah, it's moving. <laughs> let alone bad publicity. A chain of negative effect may be may be on the on their way. Loss of customer, loss of trust in the organization, in the organization, and eventually financial loss. Totally. I'm so relieved we're done with the safety measures manual. Now we want to plan its implementation to reduce accidents as much as possible. Okay. Miguel, your turn has one come. <laughs> I'm Miguel, one more time. You are Miguel or Gladys? Okay. Miguel, Miguel. I'm Miguel. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad okay. we are over with the risk assessment process and the safety measures. Reduce, reduce or reduce? Reduce, action, reduce, reduce. reduce. Reduce or reduce. 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 Uh, could, could it's implementation to reduce. Google Translate. For me to reduce. Reduce, uh huh. Reduce. It sounds like reduce. an I E reduce, 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 right? Hey, keep going. I'm not here. Okay. <laughs> Let's change couples. Okay. Let's change couples. Hi. That part of the of the conversation reminds me like the TikTok video. Oh my like the sound. Which one? Uh, would say, all oh my, we live together, right? Something like that. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna split you again so you can practice. <laughs> Sorry. One more time. It's okay. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one. Group number one was very immersed practicing. Okay. We're going to do it one more time, guys. I'm just going to change couples, okay? So you can practice with your classmates. Okay. Smaller groups. Now we're in trios. Let's go one more time. Thank you. 
Good evening. Good evening. Hey, teacher, it, it was embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way you're going to learn, little Padawan. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, go ahead. Okay. okay. Uh, I'm glad we're over with the risk assessment process and the safety measures man manual. I couldn't agree more. Recently, I watched some news about one of our competitors. They were sued because of an employee died when manipulating heavy, heavy machinery. Oh my, that's such bad news and very bad publicity for the company. Yeah, let alone bad publicity, a chain of negative effect might be on their way. Lots of customers, lack of trust in the organization and eventually financial loss. Totally, I'm so relieved we're done with the safety measure manual. Now we want to plan its implementation to reduce accidents as much as, much as possible. Okay. Uh, it's not here. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad we are. I'm sorry. I'm glad we are over with the risk assessment process of the safety measure manual. I couldn't agree more. Recently, I watched some news about one of our competitors. They were sold because of an employee died when manipulating her machinery. Oh my, <laughs> no second one see this. I'm sorry. I don't know how to how to read that. Like, oh my God, <laughs> that is such bad news and very bad publicity for the company. Yeah, let alone bad publicity and change of negative effect might be on their way. Loss of customer, loss of tools in the organization and eventually financial loss. Totally. I'm so relieved we're done with the safety measure manual. Now we want to plan and we want to plan this implementation to reduce the accidents as much as possible. Okay. And you want you can be customer lost through in the organization and eventually finalist loss. Totally. I'm sorry, Liv. We are done with the safety measures manual. Now we want to plan its implementation to reduce accidents as much as possible. Okay. No sé si Roberto. Is Ajá, Roberto the encendió la cámara. Really? <laughs> It's just that yeah. Robert, Robert is driving. It's driving. Uh, <laughs> yeah. We could have okay. a labor accident. We could have a labor accident. Yeah, okay. so, we're an accident when we are talking about safety measures. <laughs> How ironic that will be, it's right? So. Ironic. <laughs> okay, let's mm -hmm. go back. Okay. okay. It's just the way it is. Recording Oh, come on, really. Sorry, guys. It's holding time. Okay, so let's see. Any questions? Any new words? All right, I think it's very clear. Okay, up next, we have some vocabulary on your book, as you can see right underneath the conversation. You need to match the words and phrases that describe 
the effects caused by hazards and risks to their definitions. So what is contamination? Casualties, property damage, property damage, loss of customers, loss of customers, financial loss, business interruption, 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 interruption. Okay, machines often break down. The company loses, loses money. Customers switch, customers switch to another provider, provider business. Employee dies in an accident operating a machine. Oh my God, employee dies in an accident operating a machine. The production stops, the production stops, the production stops. Waste residues, I don't like that word. Waste residues that are handled, handled improperly, improperly scattered, scattered to other areas. And I said areas, cause the areas to be closed down. Cause the areas to be closed down. I'm gonna read that one more time. Waste residues that are handled improperly and scattered to other areas and cause the areas to be closed down. Okay, so just match one, two, three, four, five, six definitions, four, sorry, with its definition. Really quick, we only have seven minutes for this exercise and then we come back. Small groups again. <sighs> Let's go. Talk, 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 talk. <clears throat> Rina, I don't know if you can hear me. They, it's they it's, it's cold water when okay. they hydrate our body. <laughs> I, I agree with you, man. Thirsty. Okay. Thirsty. Thirsty. Yes, I understand. Okay. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Contamination. What is the contamination? Financial loss, the company losses, losses, losses. Yeah, uh, can we write it or no? Yeah. And uh, try yeah. it. Contamination was residuals. Wait, residuals. Yeah. The last one is the number one. Was the residuals that are handled improperly scattered to other areas and cause the areas to be closed down. Last down. Wow. The last one. Wow. Number one. No. Yeah. Yeah, the number one. Um, the first one, I guess, center. the number three. Oh, Customer switch. Customer switch is the number four, maybe loss of customers. The no. No. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Employee ties and accident is property. Number two? No. This is number two, oh, yeah. Number casualties. Two. Yes. Casualties. 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 I always think that is fatalities. Uh, interaction machines often break down. It's... Uh... <laughs> Yes, the three. No. Oh, no, 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 six. No, no. Sorry, sorry. Six is six, that six. the uh, production stop? Six, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. That's, that is three. Yeah, number three is the first one. Okay, one time machine is a piece of cake. Mm -hmm. Come on, give me another one. 
<laughs> but she's often break down. I resolve, now, now discuss I, why. I resolved this exercise sober, but I think I resolved it better in another way. In another state of mind. Okay. <laughs> Chase. <laughs> Another way to say casualties. 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 Hmm. It's like I think that casualties sounds to me like an. Sounds to me. A... But the, the casualties is very common in galerias. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, for example, this is the second accident. <laughs> the, there was another another one in uh, Zona Rosa. I don't remember well. But it happens. Yeah. I don't remember. Um, a new mall that is in front of the, in the middle of the Zona Rosa. I don't think I go. In the middle of Zona Rosa, you can say that. In the middle of Zona Rosa. I eat some words. I'm hungry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Only. Uh, what else? Come on, discuss something. Property damage. Damage is is when something um I don't know when something is is not working or mm, or some injury, injury. A mistake. I don't know if injury. A mistake. I know the meaning in Spanish, mistake. but I don't know how to explain you in English. Okay. There is a casualties, property damage, and business interruption. Business interruption, maybe the production stops. Yeah. Yeah. That's correct. Uh, what is the other one? Machines often break down, and the other one, customers switch to another provider business. Machine the break first down. one. The first one, uh, when the machine breaks down, um, I think that match with the uh, with the uh, damage. Oh, property, yeah. property damage. Uh, yeah, I think. Uh, I'm not sure what is the meaning casualties. Casualties. Cas casualties. Um, I don't know. Casualty. No, I don't have idea. I cannot uh, see that information because I don't have the, the book. Yeah, I don't know in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> Let me. And now in English. <laughs> casualty. Yeah, casualty. Korean. Like casual. Casual. And then, Korean. Yeah, Korean. Yeah. <laughs> casualty. This. Situation. And the other one, bro. Two. And the phrasers are machines of ten breakdown. Machine often bring down. Customers switch. I think that that proper damage is met with machine often break down. Teacher, could you share the uh, a picture on WhatsApp? Oh yeah, right now. Yes, please. Right away. Because she's trying to read, but well, we are not sure what 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 she is reading. I don't understand her. 
<laughs> yeah, I understand. Hey, me. I understand. Yeah, is that... <laughs> so I understand. Crazy. But uh, uh, sometimes for me, I think that I can learn more if I'm of course reading up if I'm seeing the, the information or <laughs> or when I'm practicing. Contamination ways to reduce area handling problem. Okay. Casualties. Here we have. Is. Okay, the number. The it number one that is contamination. 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 Ways. The, the number one. Uh, I think that we, we say that is weight uh, residues. Residues weight that, are handled that are handled properly. properly. Scattered to cover I know, the <laughs> all the areas and cause the areas to be plumbed I down. <laughs> Actual things. Casual tears. This is the full damage. Casualty employee die in a sun. The incident for the damage left of customer. Uh, did you find the uh, the meaning of casualties? Casualties. Okay, uh, let's start with another. Uh, number three, property damage. I think that is property machines damage. often break down. Property damage. Number three. Proper damage. Company lost yeah, customers with another. No, employees die. Maybe the casualties is customer switch to another provider. So the number two Passant, is customer switch. Casualty is machine off and break down. Hmm. Why? Mm -mm -mm. I get. Mm. Casualty so should be this one. Mm -hmm. Why? And. Uh, uh, Recording stop. Ah, Rina, hi. You're we done, right? Nori we were notified. <laughs> You're done, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I okay. I don't know if we are okay or not. <laughs> we are good. We'll find out. That We'll see. That that word casualties is, is weird. <laughs> it's weird, yeah. It's weird, yeah. Um, when something happens and you were not supposed to be affected by that situation, but you were. It, okay. You're an indirect um, victim of the situation, if you want to say it that way. Yeah. You are collateral damage. Oh, okay. Okay, hold on. Uh, what? Okay. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, contamination is Con was produced yeah. waste. Waste received. Uh, yeah. uh huh. Yeah. And yeah. customer is employee. Uh -huh. and Employee. Uh -huh. 
1, 2, 3, 4. Uno falta. Financial loss. Financial loss, loss. The company loves money. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We, we did it. Finish. Finish. Awesome. Es como que es una letra china, o sea. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get going in one minute. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's check your answers to this exercise. I want to hear you giving the responses, okay? So tell me, teacher, number one is? Teacher, number one is waste residues that are handling improperly better to offer areas and cause the areas to be closed down. Okay, so that would be number one. Let's see. Waste residues that are handling properly scattered to other areas and cause the areas to be closed down. Do we all agree? Yes, I agree. Yeah, I agree. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Okay, where goes number two? Number two is employee dies in an accident operating a machine. Casualty. Yeah. How do you understand that word, casualty? Uh, victim. Victims? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Well, do we all agree? Yes. Yes. Cheer up. Okay. Number three. What's property damage? Machine often break down. Machine often break down. Hmm. Hmm. Do we all agree? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What's number four? Loss of customers. Customer switch, switch to another provider business. Okay. To another provider of business. Okay. Number five, financial loss. The company loss. Yeah. Company loses money. Company loses money. Okay. And number six. Production stops. Production yes. stops. If it is a production company, right? A manufacturing company. Okay. So business interruption, the production stops. Good. So that was easy. Basically, what have you understood out of all this risk assessment, um, the manuals? What is a manual? In your own words, what do you understand by a manual? Like a process to follow. Process to follow. Uh, for specify a little bit more. Um, how do, how will you use this manual, this safety manual? The list of of steps. To do what? In order to know how to do. They work properly. How to, do your, how to do your job properly? That will be a procedures manual. Oh. That will be safety a procedures plan. A safety plan manual. What? What is describe, it for? Describe the process for identifying the physical and health hazards that could harm workers 
Consider what, to prevent accident. What page are you reading? <laughs> Google. <laughs> okay. You, we yeah. know is that. Yeah, that's basically what it does. But so under uh, basically it's a list of steps to follow under um, risk circumstances, right? Procedures to prevent accidents. Procedures to and prevent steps, accidents. And Is it steps to take an accident occur. During, if accidents occur, there must be steps to follow. I have a question yeah. for you. What will you do if one of your coworkers falls? You're working and out of the sun and this guy falls and breaks a leg. What will you do? Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know. Tell me, how will you react? What will you do? First, try to don't move the leg. Calling, the calling first. emergencies. Call <laughs> emergencies. Good, Carla. Okay, Alex says, don't move the injured worker. Don't move the coworker. And that's right. Don't move some. Maybe it's a group of people that knows about first aid and trying to help. Maybe. Mm, yeah, if there's prepared people, trained people for this sort of emergencies, for this sort of emergencies, yes. That sounds like a plan. Okay. Uh huh. Y ese plan es del. Okay. <laughs> I was just watching the bread around. Mm. Bread with cream. Oh my God, I'm hungry. Okay. So yes, guys, if you have a coworker suffering an accident, don't move him or her. Just call 911, call emergencies or get one of your coworkers who has been trained for these situations, that is totally right. Okay, let me see. Oh, I was reading something about this plan. Give me one minute. Okay, so now we're gonna move back to page 37. Let's do it together so you don't get bored, okay? So I need your help, Alan. Okay, uh, the, at the beginning on number six, yep. read the following paragraph on, on the line, the passive voice sentences, check your answer with the classmates. Uh, many tools have been left disorganized all over some working areas. It seems like the safety manager has not been informed about the new safety measures. I wonder if he has been interested in doing his job lately. Hopefully, the new employees have been taught to follow the rules by the book. Taught to. Taught to follow the rules by taught the book. To. Thought to. I wonder. Okay, so I just need you to. Um, how do we do this? You're supposed to copy this onto your notebook. Okay, but do it as you please. Okay, individually, can you select the passive voice and the present perfect passive voice sentences? Don't mention them, just do it by yourselves. Everybody. Consider writing down the sentences if you want.
Okay. How you doing? One minute. Woman in pretty one, pretty one. Okay, time's up. So you tell me, what is the first sentence with present perfect and passive voice? How many tools have been left? Excellent. Okay, so many tools have been left organized. Okay, what's the second one? The safety manager has not been informed about the new safety measures. So the object is the safety manager. The safety manager, yeah. Hasn't been formed. Okay, about the new safety measures. Next. The new employees have been tasked to follow the rules by the book. He has mm. been. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's it. He has been. That's to be interested. Yeah. Okay. He has been interested. He has been interested. Okay, totally. You got it. Okay, I'm doing his job lately. Easy. So you think you can handle the present perfect now? Okay, now I have a general question again for you. Have you ever been to these situations, any of these situations where a coworker or someone you know was into a, a labor accident? Okay, and just to resume the class, because that's all about safety, safety measures. Um, hazards. Have you ever been to that situation or have you heard of someone that suffered an accident at work? No Could, teacher. Nobody. I just can't believe it. No. My job. What happened, Miguel? Oh, you come on, Miguel. You work in insurance. You yeah. see you see that you see that people every day. It's very common, but in my work, there are two people. They have an accident in the plant. My work produces energy. And these two people, they have paraplegicos. How do you say paraplegia? But I don't yeah, know. Fernando. Actually, <laughs> Fernando, how do you say, so how, do you say how do you say pa 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 paraplegico? Paraplegico. Yeah. Okay. This is the. Okay, so. El Google. 
Es paraplegic. Paraplegic. Has the Google. Paraplegic. <laughs> paraplegic. So you produce an energy. Energy. Yeah. Okay. And, and they have an accident in the plants. Okay. Uh huh. How did that happen? Well, I, I, I don't know very well what happened, but I see the bills and the all bills in the hospital and it's very, very difficult. Yeah, and they, they don't can um, room and well, it's they can. Perplex, totally perplex. Paraplegic, yeah. really? From yeah. from neck to, to feet? Yeah. But tell us what happened. Did the company become responsible for? Yes. Yes, they have uh, insurance, medical. They, and, ha they and have medical in? Medical insurance and accident, personal accident. Okay, so they have medical and personal and accidents. Insurance. The company, the company give all for 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 they provides provides them with everything they need. Yeah. Okay. To be cover everything. They cover yeah. everything. The company becomes accountable for uh, workers injuries. Oh, yeah. sorry, injuries, this keyword, injuries. The company becomes accountable. So accountable, try to use that word. Uh, responsible, accountable for workers' injuries. Workers' yeah. compensation. You could also say workers' compensation goes on the insurance company. Workers' compensation goes on the insurance company. It's like when you say, hey, it goes on me, don't worry. It goes on me. I'll pay for this. Yeah. Okay. Are you a field consultant? Or field investigator, Miguel? Yes, well, in my case, I am insurance, uh, analyst insurance, and I review all bills, the, all employees. In this case, for example, in a specific, these employees, um, we, we pay them more or less uh, $1,000 every week. Thousand, thousand. A thousand, yeah. A thousand, a thousand. $1,000. Yeah, set a thousand, a thousand dollars per week, four thousand per yeah. month. That's yeah. that's little money. Yeah, but that's, they need that's they little need, money. Yeah, they need attention, medical attention, all day. The whole day. Yeah, I mean they they, they are they are plugged into a machine most likely. Yeah. My God. And that's for life. Well, yeah. That's for life. It's for life. Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, it's it's wordless. Well, I that the doctor, the doctor in the company said that one person can die, but I don't know. It may he may die soon. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Let's skip the topic. So I'm staying with Carol tonight. Um, I'll see you tomorrow. Señores, es importante dos cosas. Uno, que no se pierdan las siguientes dos clases. Solo nos falta el miércoles y el jueves. Y dos, por favor, completen todos sus ejercicios de la plataforma antes de el jueves, por favor, para que yo pueda subir sus notas el jueves a la medianoche, ¿ok? I'll see you tomorrow. Um, Ada Susana Caceres Mendoza. I know. Bye bye. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. 
Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Claudia Marisela Solano Crespín. Elvin Arcides Seguizabal Martínez. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. Present. Good night. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present. Good night. Good night. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Present. Juan Marcos Guzmán. Carla Yanet Amaya Herrera. Present. Good night. Miriam Good night. Carolina Mozo Valdés. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present. Good night. Good night. Roberto Luis Sumaño Arellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Good night. Good night. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Good night, teacher. Good night. Rina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Okay. Good night, guys. Take care. Just a minute. Hello. Hello. I saw your son. <laughs> My big baby. Oh, really? He's 12. How old is he? He's 12 years old already. Oh. Yeah. Fifth grade. He's going to sixth, sixth grade. Oh. Next year, he will be on seventh grade. Time flies really fast. Yeah. But let's not talk about me. Let's talk about you. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. Good. How's your yeah. job? Sorry? How's your job? Your job. How's uh, your job? Oh, uh, okay. Um, it was fine. Pretty quiet, calm today mm. some days is very um, exhausting but chaotic sorry i thought you were saying chaotic chaotico oh, oh okay yes. okay <laughs> uh <-huh>. but <laughs> it's depend uh about operation uh, especially when when is there is travel to outside uh, El Salvador. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of documents to do. When you have to travel out of El Salvador. No, no, not me, the, the, the trucks, drivers. Oh, mm -hmm when truck drivers have to go out of El Salvador. Okay. What happens uh, then? Today, sorry? What happens then? What's your job? I mean, what do you, why do you have to work more when truck drivers go out of El Salvador? Um, for example, check the documents, um, uh, driver's documents. Uh, I don't know how to say visa. Visa? Yeah, it's a visa. Uh, it's a uh, their visa. passports. Uh, their passports. Yes, passports. Another um, uh, carnet. Carnet. Their ba badges. <laughs> their badge. I'm going to write it. Their badge. Say badge. is Chaotic. Uh, it depends yeah. about operation. It's up. It's up to. Uh huh. You got it. <laughs> yeah. Yes, but the, at the moment when I'm talking, I forget it. <laughs> yeah, but you can you can do it. Very good. So when truck drivers have to go out of out of the country, I have to check their paperwork. That's the way you call it. I have to check their mm -hmm. paperwork their IDs, I have to check their IDs, their badge. Um, 
permissions uh, about the trucks. The trucks permissions, licenses. Yes. That's a um, lot of work. And that's every time they go out of El Salvador? Yes, Mexico. Yeah, but I mean, but, um, what do you have to do? What happens if a driver's license is expired? Oh, uh, it uh, affects the the, the trip. Alan, the, the supervisor in this case, mm. Alan, my coworker, mm -hmm. um, because he he program program uh, he programs the schedule. Programs, yeah, programs, the schedules, and uh, this about available. Availability. Avail avail uh, easy, easy. Avail <laughs> availability. Availability. Good, availability. Good. <laughs> availability. <laughs> Okay. So Alan, Alan schedules the trips. He checks where he's on top. Schedule the trip. The driver's availability. Difficult word. Yes, avail availability. 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 That's right. So Alan is on top of the driver's availability. That's one of his jobs, I guess. One of his, uh, yeah, yeah, jobs. Okay. And what's your schedule like? My schedule. Uh, uh, from Monday to Saturday. From from Monday to Friday, it uh, it starts to eight eight a.m. Starts at eight at eight at eight a.m. Mm -hmm. to four thirty p.m. Mm -hmm. And so on Saturdays, mm -hmm. uh, it it starts at eight. 8 a.m. to 12. But some sometimes I work on Sunday. What? Because, yes, because I I have to coordinate. Uh, I always forget the word capacitation in workshop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have to coordinate uh, the, the trainings, the, the trainings, workshops. Uh, uh, um, uh, for, for drivers. Who, for the drivers, okay. For what, drivers. Uh, what kind of workshops do you run? What kind of workshops do you run? Um, so, the manejo de festival. Mm. Okay, they're they're about defensive driving. They're about defensive driving. They're about defensive drivers. Um use and also use the is Extinguishers. 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 <laughs> You're only using complex words with me. Extinguishers. <laughs> oh, extinguishers. Yeah, I cannot even find the proper. I forgot the proper spelling of that word. Hold on. Extinguishers. Extinguishers. I can't believe it. Extinguisher. It's with an X. I remember. Okay. Extinguishers. Extinguisher. The proper use of extinguishers. Who checks? Who yes. checks? Who checks the expiration of the extinguishers? Uh, 
Uh, Alan? No. Cuerpo de bomberos. Really? The fire department? Yes. How often do they go there or? Once a year. Because extinguishers uh, expire once a year. No, no, no. Uh, they, uh, the, they give, they give uh, a diploma mm -hmm. for yes. for each driver. Oh, but that's just to train them. No, what I'm asking you is who is on top or who is charging, um, checking that the extinguishers are okay, are not expired. Who checks that? Mm -hmm. who, uh, checks, who checks the expiration? For example, me. You, you do? <laughs> So you, yes. have to, you have to go truck by truck, checking the extinguishers, the date they expired. Yes, we on with, how do you say Cuerpo de Bomberos? With the fire department. department the fire department, yes. Oh. They sent a inspector and, and, I, and I have to... Or yes, coordinate with, with him. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> Confianza. Necesitas hablar más, nada más. Eso es todo, ¿ves? Mm -hmm. Súper bien, te felicito porque así no, yo sí noté un gran cambio. No sé. Algún novio ahí que hable en inglés, súper bien. Pero sí he sentido una gran mejoría, la verdad. Y te felicito. Nada más, solo hay que seguir practicando. That's it. Mm -hmm. Ok. El vocabulario. Sí. No, no, confianza. El vocabulario ya lo tienes. Solo tienes que agarrar un poquito de confianza nada más en creer en ti y poder hablar, soltarte. ¿Qué es lo que has estado haciendo? So, little by little, mm -hmm. patience, patience. ¿Ok? Ok. Hope you have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, you bye, too. Bye.